Hi, welcome to Northern Thrifters. My name is Melinda and today I have another Dollarama haul to share with you guys. So I've got a bag of stuff. So let's just get into it and I can show you what we picked up. So the first item on the top, I'm very excited about. They had new styles of the Aladdin tumbler and I found this one. And so this is kind of a see-through pinkish red uh, tumbler and they were on for $4 again, which is such a good deal. Like these are really sturdy and they're super easy to clean. Like I really like the other ones that I bought previously. So I saw they had a new design, I had to pick up another one because they're really um, a nice quality tumbler. And then we picked up um, a bit of candy <laughs> because like I've said in previous uh, hauls, we cannot go to a dollar store without picking up candy. Like it's a little bit of a problem, but at least it's a good deal. <laughs> we can say that. So the first uh, candy that we picked up is the Werther's Original and this is just their regular hard candies. And these were on for a dollar. So that's the first package. And then we also got another Werther's Original, but this is their Chewy Caramels, and these were a dollar as well. And we found um, some peppermint patties. These are the Palmer's patties, and these were on for $1.25. So got a package of those as well. And let's see, what's next in here? Let's get this item out. This thing is so cute. I could not believe that I found this, and it is so heavy. So this is made by Post-It, like Post-It Notes. It's a pop-up Post-It Note dispenser, but it looks like a Polaroid camera and it is just so adorable. And I have to say, it's very hefty, like it's solid. It's not gonna move on the desk, which I really like, because if you're pulling this off, this um, needs to be um, pretty sturdy so that it doesn't move around. And then it looks like from reading the package, it takes kind of that regular, larger square size post-it note stack, um, you can refill it. So uh, I just really like this. And I think it was $4. It doesn't have a price on it, but I'm pretty sure it was $4 for this. I couldn't pass it up. It's just too cute. <laughs> so that's that item. Where am I gonna put it? Just put it on my lap. And then we found, which I was really surprised. I didn't know this company made these. We found Aquafina lip balms and they are a two pack for $2 and they had two different packages. So the one is, uh, what is this? Orange citrus flavor with, with a regular. So that's orange citrus and then there's regular. And then this one is four berry blend flavor right here and then you get the regular there. And I didn't know that Aquafina made lip balms, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try them. For four bucks, you can get four of them. And you know, my kids, they're always losing them. Even I'm losing them. So that's a pretty good deal at a dollar each. And just kind of um, interesting <laughs> that Aquafina even makes them. And I'm sorry, my furnace just came on. So if you're hearing any background noise, I do apologize, but we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> So the next items, there's three that are kind of similar, so we'll get these out all together. So these are by Studio Media, and they're basically like a post-it note, like an off-brand post-it note set. They call them um, Sticky Minis, Sticky Notes, and it's 400 sheets, and these were $2 each, but I'll show you the inside. Like, it's so cute. Do I have to open it completely? Okay, I'm gonna open one of them completely. Or we may open all of them just to show you because I was peeking through at the store. They had a ton of different styles of this. I apologize for the crinkling. It's a lot of plastic on here. So this one says, just believe in your dreams with a rainbow. And then you open it up and it's got a spot for notes up here, but then it's got all these different styles of post-it notes. I'm gonna try and show you without reflection. So it's got like um, to do, um, important there's like a little note sheet and these all have multiple like their little pads of the sticky notes so I thought these were just so cute in a little booklet and then the next one it's the same idea this one says hello beautiful and it's more like beauty or makeup themed once again a little bit of crinkling but you have to see the inside like these are super adorable so once again it's got like the notes area and then all the different post-it notes, sort of like your to-do list here, and it's so cute. It says, you got this at the top. 
This one says hustle. <laughs> and then these are cute. It says now, later, to do, and then maybe. <laughs> Just really cute. It looks like there's some paper in there, but that's all right. This, and this is kind of pretty. It's like a perfume bottle there. And then the third one that we found, it's a unicorn and it just has sticky notes on it. And this one, oh, that's cute. I didn't see that in the store. For the notes section, it says unicorn rules. Oh, and these are really cute. Oh, look at these. Hopefully I can get rid of the reflection. So once again, sort of like your grocery list or to-do list type and then regular post-its here. And they have uh, rainbows and different unicorns on them. Just super cute for $2. Like, what a good thing to add if you're putting together a gift for somebody. Like, these are just really adorable. So that's that item. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to leave it on my lap. And then I found a couple notebooks. And these were on for a dollar each. And I just thought they were adorable <laughs> once again. So that's uh, the first one. It's like um, a llama or an alpaca or something like that. I can never tell the difference between those two. So that's that one. And it's just a regular uh, ruled, ruled notebook on the inside. But I thought for a dollar, super adorable. And then, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. And then this one, because I love cats. It's a cat with a little fish bowl. <laughs> And it's the same thing, a ruled uh, notebook on the inside. And this was also a dollar. And then we found something that I was so surprised that they would have this at the dollar store because it's really cute. It is a picture frame whiteboard set. So you get a picture frame here and then you get this really cute um, whiteboard on this side, but it also lights up. So let me show you if you can see it. So I've I've turned it on and lit it up. So let's just turn it off and on. So if you can see there, just really cute. And you get a um, whiteboard type marker in there as well. And this whole set was on for $4. Like that's a pretty good deal, especially if you're looking for like a gift add on for a preteen or a teenager, like in your house, like honestly, that's such a cute set. And what's next? Oh, this last one. We've opened this already and actually used up the battery, so it does need to charge, but I'll be able to show you a little bit of it. So it is by the company Montoy, and they call it their flying ball. As you can see, the package is empty. This is it here. So it's basically um, like, it, like an RC toy without the remote function. Basically, you turn this little guy on, and it hovers in the air and kind of comes down a little bit. And if you put your hand under it, it'll go back up on its own. It has an infrared sensor in it and it also has LED lights. I can um, show you in a minute uh, the lights of it, but honestly, we've uh, used the battery up and need to charge it. So what do they say on here? It's indoor use, rechargeable, has LED lights. So you can kind of see here, you're supposed to put your hand underneath it. And what we found with using it um, if you kind of put your hand under it too much, it ends up going to the ceiling and our ceilings are just a little bit too high. And so we need a chair to get it down because it basically hovers right along the ceiling, but it's super fun. And I'll just turn on it on here. Probably the blades aren't going to turn because the battery, we did wear it down, but you can see, um, how it lights up there. Oh, it did turn on. Okay, I'm surprised. It's got a little, <laughs> that surprised me. It has a little bit of battery life left. So basically, yeah, it turns like that and then it'll hover in the air. You put your hand under and it'll go back up. Such a cute little toy. And this was uh, $4. And honestly, when my son found this, I was like, mm, I don't know. I bet it's not going to work. But honestly, it works perfect. Like I was really surprised for $4, this little toy. It's actually kind of fun. So that is the last item for the haul for today. So let me know, um, do you shop at Dollarama and what kind of fun things have you found recently? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.